Inside a hangar at MacDill Air Force Base, three planes, a Gulfstream jet, and two P-3 Orions are poised to fly over the Atlantic or Gulf on a moment's notice. Their mission? One, three thousand. To head directly into hurricanes, using the latest technology to forecast the storm. We have a suite of instruments on the aircraft itself that we're monitoring in real time. We are also dropping instruments from the back of the aircraft, which is called a GPS drop zone. Uh, drop zone is very similar to what the National Weather Service launches on a balloon. The drop zones are a case of analog in a digital world. They're made of a cardboard cylinder, a piece of parachute cloth, and string. They fall onto the ocean floor, measuring wind speed and air temperature. This year, on the tail of the Gulf Stream jet, there's a new high-tech feature. Doppler radar that measures upper levels of a hurricane in real time. How does the data of real time help people get a better sense of the forecast or know whether or not to spend the money to supply or to evacuate? Because if we're seeing a lot of air leaving the storm, that can relate to a lower pressure on the surface, which means a stronger storm. These P-3 Orions have been around a long time, built in 1976. We have a great system to fly on that's sturdy and we are able to put some of the newest equipment on it and that's really going to get us into the future. That future is likely to include the increased use of unmanned planes like these Global Hawk drones from NASA. Two of these former spy planes will soon travel to the waters off the coast of Africa where most hurricanes form. They can fly almost three times longer than a Hurricane Hunter plane and 15,000 feet higher. A game changer that helps gather more data about these potentially devastating storms.